Hey, today is World Heart Day, and we could all share a little more love for our heart, right? Taking care of it. Joining me now in studio is Dr. John Higgins. He's a cardiologist with UT Health Houston. Thank you so much for coming in sure, today. Amy. So you were just telling me what World Heart Day is all about. Yeah, so World Heart Day actually was set up around 2000. Uh -huh. And what the goal was, Amy, is that let's see if we can reduce heart disease and all uh, deaths by 25% by 2025. That was oh. the whole thing. And so they decided, let's have this day. It's celebrated in most countries and we'll focus on, you know, what people need to know about their heart and preventing heart disease. And I'm happy to um, announce we are kind of still looking on target where we're over two thirds of the way there. We've got wow. another year. So, uh -huh. um, it's a great day to talk about and it's my favorite day, of course, of the year. <laughs> yeah. So in general, it sounds like people are, maybe getting healthier if we're if we're two-thirds of the way there yeah people people are getting healthier but we still have it's the um it, unfortunately sometimes it's the 80 20 rule you know 20% uh -huh. of the people are doing everything <laughs> really really right 80% of the people are doing some things but they need to improve things to get a little bit better and you know that's everything Amy from knowing you know some of the signs that there might be something going on with your heart but also doing those things that are going to prevent heart disease so let's talk about that and we feel like we know it it's just people who think that it's hard to get started hard to do diet and exercise right yeah, yeah. Um, is one more important than the other if somebody says baby steps here what could yeah. they do today I would say today if you are not doing regular exercise just start you know go out for a walk for 10 minutes and over the next month see if you can build that up to 30 minutes a day or a cycle if it's really really hot you know you can always walk indoors or stationary uh, bicycle indoors while you're working on your computer uh -huh. diet of course the mediterranean diet or, or plant-based diets have been shown to be the best amy so we're talking you know at the foundation whole grains fruits vegetables um, some low-fat dairy uh, and uh, and making sure you're having some lean protein uh -huh. you know best is probably going to be lean chicken lean f fish and then also making sure you're uh, having um, some good salad dressing and you're cooking with the right oils so think extra virgin olive oil or those other monounsaturated oils like avocado oil and those uh -huh. other oils avoid the saturated fats to cook with and the and the dressings the creamy dressings exactly. obviously i know mediterranean diet i mean look it up because for a lot of people if you're not used to trying to eat healthy having sort of these rules and guidelines help Oh, like absolutely. this is what I'm supposed Amy, to be doing. There's so many great websites for that. You know, and in addition, you know, to the uh, diet and exercise, we also have to remember, you know, avoid the things that we know are not good for some people out mm -hmm. there. So, of, of course, cut back on your smoking, avoid those sugary snacks, making sure you're getting the proper sleep. We know, Amy, that people that don't get the proper sleep are have higher blood pressure and that leads to higher um, uh, cholesterol and mm -hmm. higher blood uh, pressure can lead to stroke and heart attack and then also thinking about those other things like if you're sitting a lot during the uh -huh. day you know make sure you get up at least once an hour do a little bit of walking around the office trying to um, de-stress yourself you know one of the things um, Amy that people don't know about that can cause um, heart disease is anxiety depression and stress so oh, wow I recommend people think about doing some sort of relaxation or meditation for 10 minutes a day as well right and you may think oh I'm going I'm doing all the right things I'm exercising but I'm you know exactly. crazy stressed out with high anxiety okay we didn't talk about alcohol yes so how important is alcohol in this because we hear things like oh red wine is good for you yeah no um Amy we still the best evidence shows the j-shaped curve with um alcohol and particularly red wine so what that means is the people in the large studies that did not drink any alcohol had a little bit of higher risk of heart disease those that had moderate alcohol which is one glass for women and one to two glasses for men had the lowest cardiovascular disease and those that were doing excess of that had higher cardiovascular disease so it looks like you know a glass of a red wine and it's not only the wine it's actually a new study out of the mass general just came out in boston showing that actually the alcohol does help people to de-stress 
relax their mind uh. and also relaxes their blood vessels so their blood pressure goes down a little bit. So a little bit of red wine, I definitely recommend. That is very interesting. So, I mean, you know, these are all good things and things that we should work into our regular routine daily lives, not just on World Heart Day. But that yep. said, it should be fun. How are you celebrating World Heart Day? So, Amy, <laughs> how I'm celebrating World Heart Day is, first of all, I'm already at 12,000 steps. I've gone for my four-mile four <laughs> jog this morning. It's 740. Later, <laughs> later on, I'm going to um, I'm gonna eat a healthy uh, uh, Mediterranean-type uh, salad uh, lunch. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to go... My, I get my eight-year-old daughter from um, school, Ariel. I'm going to pick her up uh, later on, and then we're going to go for our walk. We do a uh, 20, 30-minute walk because she's got a Fitbit, and she's got to get her 10,000 steps. Oh, good and idea. And then I'm going to have a little bit of re relaxation with her. We'll watch kind of one of her fun movies later and sipping a glass of red wine. And speaking of that, Amy, your prescription today, uh -huh. doctor's orders, is to have one glass of red wine and I happen to have brought one of my favorite reds oh, along for you. You come with presents. Yes, just in <laughs> case you didn't have your red wine uh, to celebrate Heart Day today. I didn't because I usually drink white, but doctor's orders. Yep, doctor's orders. Thank you, glass, so Thank yes. you so much. Thank you so much.